Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of It. I am Penge, and welcome to Life and Debt, or to give it its full name, which isn't shown on the screen here, but the full name of this game is Life and Debt, a real life simulator. So this is a game that aims to simulate real life from the moment you leave your parents' house and go out into the big, scary, terrifying, big, bad world all on your own. So you have to manage your monies, you have to buy stuff, you have to get a job, that kind of thing. Now, you think I would be good at this. You think I'd be okay at this because because I I'm alive. I've had a life. Every day I'm alive, I continue to have life. And I've had quite a few years of being alive. I've got a house. I've had a job. I've got children to look after and I've bought many things. I've bought many things to put in houses. I've never bought this many grandfather clocks before, but okay. Or whatever that thing is. I don't know what that is either. I'm not quite sure. I've never bought that many potted plants. And generally, if I do buy things in my house uh, for my house, I don't kind of throw them higgledy-piggledy around the place like this, but whatever the case. Do you know one thing I haven't bought? I've never bought a home sweet home sign like that one there. Never bought one of those. <laughs> What's the point? Anyway, so you think I'd be quite good at this because, you know, I've lived some life. However, <laughs> we shall wait to see whether that statement remains true after we have played the game. So let's just get on with it, shall we? Let's play a life simulator game and just see how ridiculous it gets. So here we go. How hard... <laughs> How hard should life be? That is a very good question. That is a very philosophical question right there. You could have hours, hours of debate on that. Uh, let's go down medium. Let's just go straight down the middle. Have a medium challenge. So 3.5% debt increase per month. Uh, okay, that doesn't sound very much to me. It could be a lot worse. That's okay. Normal interval between life events. Not really sure what that means either. I don't know what the normal interval is and what the life events are. I've not played this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing with it. But okay, fine. That sounds good. And a normal chance to lose jobs. So yeah, everything is entirely down the line in the middle standard. That is absolutely fine. Let's play some of this, shall we, and see how we get on. Oh no, the first thing we have to do is create us. And there we are. We look like we work in an Apple shop. Uh, no, let's let's come away from that. We can be Penge from, from the sewer. I'd rather think not. Uh, how about Cupboardtopia? Penge from Cupboardtopia is a male and can we go corporate? Mm, not really. Not really. We can go blue and yellow, but it's not kind of the right blue. It's not a sort of pastel blue, but never mind. There we go. That'll do. So Penge from Cupboardtopia is starting a medium game. He's wearing his blue shirt and his yellow pants. He is ready to go. Just before we begin, just want to point out, you can probably hear it in my voice a little bit. I'm still a little bit unwell. I've got a little bit of the lurgy still. So if there are any kind of really brutal, awful cuts, it's probably because I've had to stop recording or you know edit out the fact that I've been coughing and spluttering and sneezing and such like. So hopefully that will be down to a minimum, but that will explain any kind of really weird editing that might be cropping up. Okay, I think it's time for us to start our game and play a life simulator. Okay, and we have begun. It's the oh, it's, it starts today. Okay, check the purse. Uh, click the person silhouette to look for jobs. So we've got no cash. We've got no debt. We are unemployed. Time is ticking over. I don't think there's a way of pausing it. To be honest, uh, check here to purchase items or lottery tickets. Okay, I think job number one might be to actually employ, get you know, get employment. Um, carnival employee dispatcher earns thirty eight grand, and the job security is high. Well, yeah, there's no reason not to go for that then, rather than the carnival employee or whatever it was. Uh, oh, oh, at life events. Ah, that's what they are. You couldn't help but purchase a brand new banana suit costume after dirtying your old one from extensive farm work. Okay, <laughs> right you are. So already I'm $91 in debt. Oh, that's not helpful. Um, oh, every month your debt increases by 3.5%. Brilliant, so it's gone up a little bit already. And I can walk about. So these silhouettes are the things that I want to buy. And I imagine when I get all these, if I fill all these silhouettes in, do I win? It's payday, hooray. Um, well, let's pay off my 94 debt. There we go. And I've got 1,367 to spend on some nice things. This is a shot. Oh, hang on, what was that? Even though you do not live near any volcanoes, you showed that sales guy by buying his best package of volcano insurance. Oh, digital penge in this game, you are an idiot. Right, pay that debt off your wally. So what was this? The Shop of Wonders lottery sort of page. Scratch, scratch cities, scratch card emporium. Okay, a study. Education centre. Oh, right. 
different things. Okay, that's fine. And stocks. So stocks and shares. Okay. Oh, now, is it worth? But that's quite cheap. These stocks here are quite cheap. Let's buy 10 of those. I don't really know in Loot Box Inc. <laughs> okay. So we bought 10 shares in LBI. Let's see if they go up. So what did I buy them for? 27, 270. Ah, okay. Okay, so it's going to tell me the net gains. If I sold them now, I will have gained 40 of your monies. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? You were attacked by a bear. 3,000 debt. Oh, no. And some pirates stole my pizza at the local bar. Instead of beating them up, you just bought another pizza. 12 cash down. Oh, no. Well, I might as well pay off some of my debt or else I'm going to get charged on that. So I've got 3,000. So let's knock two and a half off. One, two, three, four, five. So we've knocked two and a half grand off our debt, which leaves us with 537. What's that in the corner? Bills. Oh my goodness, we get bills as well. Your new obsession with beatboxing has led you to instant stardom. You break your leg while being trampled by endearing fans. Can I not make some money off of that? That's even more debt. Okay, pay the debt off with my wages from being a dispatcher. And I assume that doesn't mean like an assassin. I assume I'm like dispatching, I don't know, goods or something. I don't know. But um, okay, so do I want to get, how much was the education? I imagine the education is used for jobs. So maybe if I get myself a basic education, I get better. Ah, okay, no, there, 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 there. Right, okay. So if I had medical education, I could get a pr 195,000 a year. Oh my goodness me. Um, I could get myself a primary care physician job. But I need to get education first. How much is, uh, what was it, medical? Yeah, medical. How much is medical? Hang on, hang on, I'm going to click, click that again. Uh, 80, oh my goodness. So I need basic education and then medical. Oh, dearie me. Okay, that's expensive. My car broke down. That's another three grand of debt. That's not going to help anybody. Um, right, pay off the debt. Don't want to be in debt. They're going to keep charging me on that. Um, more debt. A panicked stranger approaches you for some money. You give him some money out of sympathy and hope he repays you. And walking away, you know that money is lost. Don't give panicked strangers $271, you fool. Right, there you go. A little bit more money wasted. What can we buy? Cabinets. Uh, we can't afford anything. A sta 10 grand for a stainless steel fridge. Oh my goodness me. Um, okay, oh, we can buy things on finance. Ah, so there you go. So if I wanted to buy a stainless steel microwave, I would need to pay 587 per month over seven months. Oh, everything's kind of reset itself. Ah, oh, okay, right, right, okay. Every month this thing refreshes itself. Check back in that many days for new items and jobs. Okay, should we buy myself a lava lamp as a little present? Because I've not had much luck so far. Let's buy it outright. I buy myself a little lava lamp. Oh, that's nice. Sold a random goat you found on the street. <laughs> okay, I've sold a goat, everybody. Where's my lava lamp? I want to go and look at my one possession. Oh, behold, my one lonely soul possession. Um, okay, I've got 3,285 monies. I need to get 5,000 monies to get a basic education. I think we do that. How are those stocks doing? I could earn 220 uh, dollars from those stocks I bought. That's quite good. Life events. You rescued the neighbor's puppy out of a tree. Oh, we have a, a, a decision to make. A uh, hundred dollar cash, return it, or keep steal the puppy and return it. I don't want a dog. I don't want a dog. I'm already I keep accruing debt. I don't want any more. I'll have to look after a dog then. I'll have to pay for dog food and insurance and vet bills and all that. <sighs> oh, I'm just short. Now, could we sell my shares? 210 that's come down a little bit, hasn't it? Do you know what? Let's wait for eight days and then hopefully no debt things will happen. Okay, I lost a bit of cash. You, were, you attempted to pirate the software and then got caught. You were forced to buy the second-hand movie editor you wanted so bad. Okay, fine. So we lost a bit of money. In two days, we will get paid and we will get ourselves a basic education with the monies. So there we go. Lovely. So we've got 6100 Let's buy ourselves a basic education. Oh, and it unlocks these three. Okay. And I imagine science unlocks medical, tech unlocks engineering, and art unlocks those two. Okay. That kind of makes sense. Um, I still don't know what this is. I've had no bills. I've got no bills to pay. Do I not pay electricity or gas or whatever? Um, you take the wind blowing through your beard as a sign. I haven't got a beard. <laughs> He's entirely clean shaven. It causes you to have an undesirable need for dark soda. 
Okay. Don't fully understand what that means, but right you are. I'm going to get paid though, so that's nice. Right, I've been paid. Can I buy a nice thing for my house? Can I just buy a nice thing? Fuji water. Let's buy a Fuji water because it's 30. And let's buy a... Oh, let's not buy a side table. Uh, okay, salty soda. Buy one of those. And a bowed sweet abode. Let's buy one of these terrible signs. There we go. I've bought a sign. Uh, 10 debt. Punched a hole through your drywall while playing VR. Okay, pay off 10 debt. That's fine. Uh, so I've got a little, little drink there. A sign and a drink there. Okay, my job is going along quite nicely. Is there anything in home sales? 55,000. I get paid 38 now. Go over to in home sales. Absolutely. Um, it's tax season and you just finished filing your taxes. Good thing they weren't that bad. 20% of last year's income. So 1,166 debt. Okay. Uh, that's not appeared, but okay, fine. Maybe it didn't charge me. After years of learning English, you keep being mistaken <laughs> as an Australian. People keep tipping you to say things in your new accent. <laughs> okay, I will not do an Australian accent. Nobody wants to hear me doing that. So we've got two and a half grand. Yeah, I think we save it. I think we save it and go down a route of... Yeah, medical had quite a good thing. That's got the most... That's the most expensive. That and law. So I say... We go down science, and then we get medical. So we could try and get a science job. That'd be okay. Try and get a science job, and then um, and then nine thousand four hundred. Ooh, that was that was a bit of cash though. What was that? Your foray into game analysis and feedback has caused an upswell in overwhelming support for your simple Twitch channel. You received a mega donation this morning. Oh yes. Oh, if only that were true. Wow, a thousand dollars and. We're going to get 4,583 monies in now. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Damn you, life. A family member dies if you have to fork up the cash for funeral costs. Oh, it was all looking so good. And then life came and, I don't know, whittled on my pillow. Okay, fine. We'll pay it off. I don't want to get charged 3.5% on that. That'll mount up quite quickly. What I might need to do is um, 410. You notice a massive sale sign on your favourite store's window. <laughs> what a win. Digital Penge, you are an idiot. Stop spending all of our money, Digital Penge. I might, after uh, after a long fight with your supervisor, you've been fired. <laughs> oh, no. I was paid 2,138. I've been fired. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. I need a new job. Uh, chimney sweep. Child's, child's party clown. Absolutely. Child's party clown. Without a question, I will go and be a clown. Okay. So we still need to save our money. What I should do is... Oh my goodness. You accidentally run over a baby possum. You choose to either donate to a local charity to make the guilt ignorable or buy a replacement possum so nobody notices. Buy a replacement possum. It's far cheaper. It's far cheaper. Okay, that's fine. Um, What I need to do is not keep paying off my debt straight off. I've got to kind of manage it. I need to save up the money so I can get the training to get the better jobs. So I'm going to go down science and medical. The only thing is a job I'm in... Oh, it's paying weekly. Oh, that's why it seems to be going up quite a bit. Okay. Let's knock a little bit. Oh, 5,000 cash. A distant relative of yours died or your name's on the will. Oh, right. Okay, right. Pay that debt off. Let's pay that debt off. Let's just get rid of that. And then we'll get paid. And we might next time out, unless some horrific debt drops into our lap, which is a bit likely. In a couple of weeks, we might be able to get our science uh, sort of training done. And that might open up better job offers. At the minute, not any other job offers. Art and technology. Look at the art one. 133,000 a year. Wow. Oh, <laughs> we lost. Your never-ending love for fancy aftermarket particle effects has drained your savings. Okay, I love those aftermarket particle effects. Okay, fine. So the great wait continues until we can actually get a proper job. A glitch live stream at 1,800 a year. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very much at all. Um, I've been fired again. I've been fired again as a clown, as a kids entertainer. Well, I'm not... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, whatever. I'll do a job. 150 a month. <laughs> That's terrible. Right, I need some more monies. Oh, that's terrible. Right, hang on. When do the jobs refresh? 200 debt. You say check your puzzle addiction by purchasing enough puzzles and bubblegum to binge for the next few days. No, 
I want a different job. When do they refresh? When do the jobs refresh? And I still have no bills. Items financed. Right, is that from that? So if I bought cabinet six on finance, I'd have to go to that to then pay the bills. Oh, no. You were just scammed by a tech support scammer. Minus $500 cash. Digital penge. You are just so stupid. Um, okay, so a little bit of debt. We'll pay that tiny bit of debt off. Um, oh, Cyan, look! You could have had this job. You could have been a rocket scientist if you had saved your money properly, you silly man. Okay, let's go and be a truck driver. In fact, hang on. Uh, paid every week. Oh, it's not going to be enough. We need to get ourselves a couple of grand, and it's not enough. How are our shares? 450. We could sell all of our shares for 670. That puts us a little bit away. Uh, an effort to reduce your electric bill. You're turning your heat off more often. Okay, fine. <laughs> so it's increased my water bill. And the thing is, that job, that rocket scientist job, which I could have got if I'd have got science, which would have paid me loads of money, is not going to be there at the end of this month, is it? I think they roll round at the end of the month. So I'm going to get paid in 15 days. But at the end of August, these jobs are all going to change. So never mind. But at least it will. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> now what? A flying trampoline landed on your car. You just can't make this stuff up. Well, somebody clearly did in this game studio who put that in. 2,000 debt because a car, uh, a trampoline just landed on my car. Unbelievable. So yeah, we want to get this done. Get truck driver pay. New jobs have appeared. Oh, and they're all just ordinary jobs again. No. Okay, get paid. Get paid. Come on, give me the money. Don't get fired, digital penge. And... We've been paid! Right, okay, go to learning. Learn science immediately. Right, we've learned science. Took part in a study to analyse the influence of flatulence on social networks. Good. Rock on. Uh, okay, that's a nice amount, of, uh, nice amount of cash that we got from there. Pretty pathetic. Do you want to buy any of these things? Uh, no, not really. We can't really afford anything. Okay. So we've got 2,189 money. We're in debt from two grand. I could pay off all of our debt. I could just get rid of all of my debt right now. Do it. No debt. It leaves me with hardly any money. Um, but that's the thing. Was there a scratch card thing? Yeah, there. Scratch, scratch, city, scratch card in poem. So Potto Lucky, the odds are quite bad. The, the 50, $50. $50 for a scratch card. Do you know what? Let's treat ourselves. Uh, uh, okay, Pot Oh, we have to scratch it. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, this is not a winner. Oh, that's just sad. Oh, dear. A meteor lands on your car and obliterates it. Insurance doesn't cover acts of space. Okay. Seven and a half grand because a meteor has just annihilated my car. I've been scammed by a tech support scammer. A lot of money doesn't come my way, does it? I don't get a lot of money in. Right, are there any jobs? A chemist. That's got to be a science job. 72,000. Go and be a chemist. Get paid every two weeks. Right, okay. Knock that debt down a little bit. In fact, knock it down by three grand. Try and get rid of that debt that came from a meteor hitting my car. Unbelievable. My car's been hit by a meteor and a trampoline. What next? Like falling whales or something. Right, we've been paid for being a chemist. That's quite a nice pay, actually. So, let's pay off everything. Let's do 2,840... <laughs> Finally got that dislocated shoulder fix from that darts incident. Okay, that's another 2,000 onto the debt. Let's pay it all out. There we go. Another 130 debt because of the actual interest on my already fairly high debt amount. I don't really like being almost four grand in debt, but okay, that's fine. Let's, um, let's get paid. Get paid, please. There we go. Right, so I've been paid. Ka-ching. All straight out on my debt, so I don't keep paying out on that. And then next time out, we'll well we'll pay off the remaining debt. Your house and possessions were ravaged by a tornado. Sadly, only your house was covered by insurance. Why does it give someone give me some money? Can I not find some money down the back of a sofa or something? Oh no, I just cleared. I could have cleared my debt next month, and now I can't again. Um, okay. Um, I'm on the best job I can be at the minute. $72,610 a year. We've been paid. Knock the debt down by a grand. Um, stocks and shares. Are these going to be good? They are... Oh, they're, they're quite cheap. Let's buy 10 of those. 
and then see how that goes. Or drinking an energy drink and looking at your phone, you fall down some stairs, digital penge. Stop being such a clumsy, gullible idiot. More debt. Okay. <laughs> I see the way this game is going. It's just piling the debt on with ludicrous, ludicrous things. A meteor on my car. And then a trampoline. Right you are. Okay. We're getting paid. 3,804. Now, do I just kind of keep leaving it and get myself 18 grand? Ooh. In your spare time, you launched a new speed typing program that had instant success. I've got one and a half grand in cash. Okay, yes. That's good news. <laughs> I've actually got some stuff. Okay. So what I think we do is, I know we're in debt and that's going to be going up, but I think we try and save up for medical. I think we try and save up 18 grand. Okay, a little bit of uh, a little bit lost there. Your pure love and addiction to coffee has led you to purchasing 10 cups to stay up the entire night. If I, in real life, had 10 cups of coffee, I would be absolutely off my face. I would not be myself. I would act very odd. I remember once at work, I had a coffee and I think it was, I think it, it was like a, you know, one that you might buy in a shop and it had some like three shots in it. And it was, you know, I drank it and it was quite strong. I was like, oh, okay. And then uh, somebody else bought me a coffee as well. I think we had a couple of meetings that ran back to back or something. Someone else bought me one. So I drank that as well out of politeness, out of British politeness. So I go, oh, ooh, a coffee, thank you. Thinking, I don't want this. And I felt very odd. <laughs> I felt very strange indeed. Um, okay, mugged while walking home. Brilliant, okay. I've got 10 grand in cash, but I'm also 10 grand down in debt. So really, I've got about 800 and something. What's that? 800 dollars $855, really if you do the maths on that. But the debt is going to keep increasing. However, I seem to have held down my chemist job pretty well, I guess, because I've got like a science kind of skill there, which is quite nice. You get abducted by aliens. Enough people believe you to make some cash off the book sales. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of luck. Digital Pen does not have a lot of luck. He's been abducted by aliens. His car's been obliterated. He's lost quite a few jobs. But um, very soon, I would say in the next couple of months, we can go to medical school and get, and get, I don't know, do we become a doctor? <gasps> no longer will I call him Digital Penge. I will call him Dr. Penge. And that shall be glorious. And also, I'm going to say this and then immediately regret it. Our debt has not gone up via any ludicrous, ludicrous circumstance. Enough of my family have died. An elephant hasn't fallen on my car from space or something. Uh, yep, flatulence of social networks again. Right you are. See you next month next not even next month next payday 10 days time we will be able to treat ourselves to a medical education and become dr penge and there's payday right before anything ridiculous happens get a medical education hooray <laughs> i've been able to spend some money no one can understand what you're saying especially the bank manager you forcefully take a loan for one thousand dollars but get coerced into an unusually high interest plan so 5,000 debt, but 1,000 cash. I'm 15 grand in debt. Penge, you were... Ah, sorry, Dr. Penge. Sorry, Dr. Penge. You are very, very silly. Right, spend two grand trying to bring that down. Um, a family member dies and you have to fuck up the cash for funeral costs. Oh no, <laughs> I've been fired. Not at that point. Do you not know what's happened to me and my family? You meanies. Okay, so I've got a bit of money. Uh, let's pay off five grand of that. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's go and be an amateur wrestler. <laughs> I've got a doctorate. I've got a doctor's education. I've got a medical education. I'm Dr. Penge. I should not be amateur wrestling for 1300 a month. You found some cryptocurrency in your pocket that you bought years ago. Okay, I might treat myself to a thing. I haven't got much stuff in my house. I would quite like to buy a microwave. I'm going to buy it now to heck with it. I know I'm in debt. And then let's knock a grand off that. Where is my microwave? I think this looks like a sort of kitchen-y area over here. There it is. There it is. So these are like kitchen units, I guess. That's some sort of table and chairs. That's a clock. That's a light up there, I guess. Pictures on the wall. Um, what's that? A lectern. Oh, that's the grandfather clock. That's more sort of cupboardy. That's like a bookshelf, is it? It's the sofa. There's some plants and a light. You illegally parked in front of a cafe for lunch and came out to a parking ticket. Well, of course I did. Of course I did. Right, okay. It's going to change. And now a psychologist. 72,580. Yes, go and be a psychologist. Possibly should have waited to get paid there. 
But never mind, it's fine. So now I'm a psychologist. I should, should be able to get more money. So I get 2,791 every two weeks. But I do want to keep my eye out for, you know, a better, a better job than that. Like one that pays 100 grand a year would be great. That would be tremendous. But uh, right now, we're just, oh, we're just accruing debt. Your insatiable hunger for ramen had led you down a path of misery, salt, and deliciousness. <laughs> You start, this is ridiculous. Ah, what's happening? You start purchasing for a full year instead of a week. Some debt. It's tax season. 10,000 debt. Okay, fine. <laughs> Can I not just do my taxes? Can you just take them out while I'm earning them? Because then I don't get hit with this horrific bill. A detour on the way to work cause you bump into the car in front of you. Your salt levels are at an all-time high. Well, of course they are. Right, let's, let's try and bring my debt down. My mission now is to get that debt down to under 10 grand let's try and get it into four digits shall we that can be our kind of noble goal i might go and get some scratch cards see if i look out on a scratch card right some debt and some of that yeah we need to start bringing that down right one two three bring that down five notes two let's buy one of each of these oh for goodness sake much yes the phone was not waterproof there's some more debt thrown onto the pile let's buy one of these for 50. scratchy scratch that's not a winner Let's buy... These are 100. Do you know what? Whatever. Let's buy one of those for 100. That's not a winner. Oh, gambling doesn't pay, kids. Don't gamble. Let's buy Hefty Heifer. One in 98,190. They're $250 each. Let's do it. Yeah! It's not a winner. <laughs> of course it's not. But we just got paid. Let's buy one of each again. It's not a winner. This one is not a winner. Oh, gambling doesn't pay, kids. No, I've just spent like a thousand on that and it didn't work. Seven and a half thousand debt for another dead family member. Good grief. <laughs> it's mounting up. Have I got a job that I can do? Uh, a, a neurosurgeon. Yes. Give me a neurosurgeon job. 21,950 every two weeks. Yes. In two months, I will be able to sort that out. I would not trust Dr. Penge to be a neurosurgeon, but okay. Right, that is what they got the medical training for. Even if I last for, what, four paydays, that'll be very, very good. Because, you know, I might get fired. <laughs> I probably will get fired. Decide to do some charity work. Think of all the good you've done today. Go you. No, want pay. Want money. Give monies. Okay, right. We're going to get paid. That is a lot of money. Let's pay off everything so now that has come right back down and in 10 days we were to pay off our debt and we'll be able to buy some nice things that'll be quite good if we did we sell all these uh oh 10 of those 10 in gigasoft um plus 80 dollars do you know what let's just sell them uh no don't sell them keep them there leave them there why the heck not we'll just leave them sitting about right Eight five cash down, but I didn't have any. Ha 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 ha! Uh, the struggles of learning day in day out pixel art is attributed to slight arm pain. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right you are. Right, pay that off. Ha ha! Done. And now I can buy myself some nice things. I want to get one of each thing, I guess. So let's buy a cabinet. Let's buy uh, an electric oven and a chandelier light and i'm buying them outright i'm not buying them on finance because i don't need to because i'm a neurosurgeon you always seem to need to buy the next biggest thing in this case it's an oversized fermented gummy bear ew and that gave me 344 cash uh okay i don't really understand that but right you are okay <laughs> that's a bit weird right new things to buy Let's buy a cabinet. Now I've got loads of money. Let's buy a dining room chair. Let's buy a side table. Walking in winter looks like a picture. 7,200. I can afford it. Let's buy ourselves a picture. Lovely. Also, let's go down the route of art as well. In case we get fired from a neurosurgeon job, let's get ourselves trained in art. Oh no. Open your computer case to find out that your laptop is replaced with a bag of toy cars. Well, you scoundrels. Okay, well, we'll pay off the debt. 24 grand let's educate ourselves in um let's go down law law might be quite a good thing to do and then we've still got six grand left can we buy anything nice i oh, know it hasn't refreshed it hasn't refreshed i'm buy a lottery ticket whatever let's just have a look no not a winner let's do that one no not a winner these are the perks of being a neurosurgeon that's not a winner either i'm beginning to think whether those are entirely entirely pathetic you created a crypto generator made out of expensive GPUs. The market crashes 
and you gain nothing. Okay, great. Um, and right, we've been paid after a long fight with the supervisors. You've been fired. No, <laughs> no, not from the good job. Uh, actor, 95,000. I don't know what mixologist is um, or a lab tech. I'm going to be an actor. I'm going to go from being a neurosurgeon to be an actor. Another trampoline's landed on my car. I don't really know what's going on anymore. Um, education. Let's get technology education as well. And we've still got 12 grand left. All right, let's get, I don't know engineering education let's do that yes nice no debt and we're almost fully educated 12 grand will get us music education and that means we'll have a kind of pick of the jobs so when the jobs come out we'll be able to pick the ones with the uh, the nice six figure pay brackets that is still empty because i've not bought anything on finance is there anything i can buy uh see the table for three grand oh no oh yes i've only got 2300 i can buy a dining chair that's nice um, a family member dies. Another one? Good grief. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Give them some proper constitution or something. Good grief. Okay. So let's wait until we get paid. We get paid a month. Okay, we get paid per month. So yeah, we're getting less money coming in sort of more regularly. But we are going to get almost eight grand in a big kind of blob lump sum. Is there something I want to move to? No. There really is not. Professional mascot sounds fun, but no. We want to get paid. 600 debt because the thing. Okay, right. Pay off all the debt. There we go. No debt. And my house has got lights and chairs. What more could somebody want? Oh, I'm a, and I'm an actor who has also been a neurosurgeon and <laughs> whatever it was. A kid's entertainer. And I don't know what other jobs it was. What other stuff did I do? I don't know. But okay, they're jobs that I don't want particularly... I'm having another go at these because I want to. Because we're going to get paid eight grand. I'm going to treat us again to a little bit. Here. Oh, what was that? I just lost a load of cash somehow. Never mind. Buy one of those. But I'm beginning to think that these are never winners. These are, these are they're just all scams. Is that just a terrible scam? Okay, fine. Uh, you lost the bet on how Ludum Dare was pronounced. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Okay, fine. Five down. 8,550 because I am an actor, love. Let's see if I can get anything from here. No, no fancy jobs available in there. Anything for the medical profession or all, pretty much all the other professions. Or the engineering or the law. Come on, come on. Get get me like a, a top lawyer or something. I mean, I'm a bit aggrieved that as an actor I get paid that little. I want to be in Hollywood films. You know, it's the massive sales sign. Yeah, okay, 410 in debt. Pay that off, silly penge. Um, what can we buy? 8,140. We could buy ourselves a Persian cloth sofa to sit on. That's nice. And how about three cabinets? Cabinet. Cabinet. Oh. Oh, hang on. I've just got a load of money. After a long fight with a supervisor. <laughs> I've been fired again. I've been fired again. Um, okay. I'm going to wait. Wait one day uh, until... So wait for Halloween to pass by. New jobs. Medical test subject. Programmer. $82,000 a year. Yeah, well, that's be a programmer then. That's the best of the rest, isn't it? Um, okay, we got that. You were mistaken for a beggar. <laughs> One dollar cash. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks very much. That's very kind. Uh, we'll have a cookie jar. Thank you very much. Um, it's, it's looking pretty nice round, round Chateau Dr. Penge at the minute. It's looking okay. You became the new model for your local magazine's yearly spring campaign, Glossy Beard. I haven't got a beard. I'm very clearly clean shaven. Okay, maybe that's why it's so glossy. It's so glossy. It's not even there. I'm going to have another go at this. I'm fairly certain that one of these will win. And it'll be a really silly thing. Let's buy one of those. No, again. <laughs> Don't gamble, kids. Like I keep doing. You've been infected with a deadly potato fungus disease. A medication has been issued for $430. Good grief. Okay, let's do that. Let's learn. Uh, we've been fired again. <laughs> fired again okay let's learn music we've now learned every single skill so every job will be available to us a biomedical engineer eighty-six thousand a year yeah get that paid every two weeks you just won ludum dare go you i don't know what that is what's that is it something i'm supposed to know of i really don't know can we buy any nice items we can't buy a fridge we could buy a coffee maker a coffee maker a plant and a Oh, that's 18,000. Oh, I definitely can't afford that. You definitely can't afford that picture. Good grief. That's a very expensive piece of artwork. 
Ouch. Okay, but we've got a little plant there. There's a light. Oh, look at this. How many items have we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a, t what was like a table there. Eight. Uh, nine for the clock. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 more items. A passing old lady mistakes you for a nephew. She bestows currency upon you for sweets. <laughs> oh, thank you, old lady. That's very kind. I like the kind old lady. I shall buy sweets and absolutely enjoy it. Uh, after a long fight. Oh, no, I've been fired again. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Right. I'm being a rocket side. Hang on. An astronaut sounds really cool, but a rocket scientist is 107,000. So I'm being a rocket scientist. I'm being a rocket scientist, which weirdly enough has the uh, same job security as a coal miner. Which is a little bit obscure, but okay. Right, can I buy stuff? Um, there's a cabinet and a cedar table. We'll buy those two things. Dropped your phone in the toilet. Yeah, that's happened before. Right, do that. Debt paid. Two more items purchased. So these are cabinets over here somewhere. Yeah, very nice. Kitchen is looking good. Can we complete the set? Can we get all the items? I imagine that's got to be the goal of the game. You've got to fill these in. And my debt level... He's actually not too bad. It's not too shabby right now. So what do we need to buy from this thing? 17 and a half grand. Now I could get it in. I could buy it on finance because that might not come round again. Let's buy that on finance like that. So now I've got it. Finance grandfather clock. Okay. Uh, I got 550 cash for releasing my first piece of software that I devoted my hobby time to. Small success, but it's a start. Okay. Yeah, that, that's quite nice. So I've got to pay my bills every month. So if we, uh, bill is 23,100, but I can pay 900 and that for 24 months. Okay, so pay the bill like that. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, I can cope with that. That's all right. Let's now buy some other things. So cabinet one, cabinet five. Okay, we're, we're working our way through. This is good. Are there any better jobs? Absolutely not. No, no exciting jobs. I should continue to be a rocket scientist. You finally finished that book on your nightstand to advance your career. Go you. Thanks. What I might do is I might buy Debt City, which is uh, which is an app name for this game. So yeah, let's buy Debt City. It's nine grand. I bought a new thing. Oh, the clock is only 300. I'll buy the clock and I'll buy cabinet two because that rolled round. Found a fiver on the street. That's mine. Thank you very much. So now, look, I've got the pictures here. I've got some more cash coming in. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been fired again. Unbelievable. Um, insurance processor. Uh, how much? Hundred. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, 11,106 per month if I'm a sculptor, if I don't get fired. Okay. Um... Let's pay, oh yeah, whatever, debt, yeah, get rid of that. Bosh, debt gone. Um, I need to pay 960 monies. Uh, yeah, I can I can do that. Yeah, pay that, absolutely. That's paid that. Okay, uh, I think it says here, six items can be financed at any one time. So I could also get the fridge on finance and then pay that back when all this money comes in. So I might not get the chance to see the fridge again. So let's do that. Let's get the fridge on finance. Click, click. Right, so the fridge is there. A distant relative has died. Um, oh, they've given me money. <laughs> I've got five grand cash. Hooray. Okay. Um, yeah, pay that and pay that. Lovely. So I've paid off those bills for now. And are there any jobs? Any exciting jobs? Nope, absolutely none that are better than Paranormal Investigator. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, now I want to get my 11,000 per month. 11,100. Come on, stick with this job for like three months. That'd help loads. Yay! I've <laughs> been given a big load of cash. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay off the fridge. I'm going to pay off the fridge now. It's done. So I've bought my fridge outright. My car's broke down. Okay, fine. We'll pay that. Okie dokie. Uh, income taxes. Ah. It's tax season and you just finished filing your taxes. Good thing they weren't that bad. 20% of last year's income is 36581 So he took all my money and then put the rest in my debt. Okay, I need to get paid quite a few times then. Oh, my debt just rolled up. My mother apparently sent me the bills for her hospital treatment, which is nice of her. So let's spend... Oh, is there anything we need? Is there anything we need from the shop? A mega mirror. 
Let's spend a bit of money on a mega mirror because that is another item that's out of the way. So yeah, we're slowly working our way through. How many do we need? One, two, three, four. How many do we need? Five. Five items. Is that it? Oh, we've been given some... Ca oh no, I've been fired again. <laughs> fired again right let's pay off quite a bit of this debt one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen grand of debt down okay fine a tiny bit more let's get a job let's get a job as a psychologist it pays the most the job security is allegedly high although i'm slightly disbelieving of that let's look at our items that we can do um oh I, I haven't paid that, have I? Pay the bill for that, whoops. <laughs> Forgot about that. So one thousand, ah, bouquet of flowers. That's what I need, I need that. And can I take the lamp and life's a beach on finance? Because we might not see them again. That's what I'm thinking, right. Finance that and finance life's a beach. <laughs> okay, 240 cash on that, that's lovely. The lamp we probably should be able to pay off because that's just $92, that's fine. We can do that, that's paid. Now. Now we've got 3885. We've got paid. So I can pay the bill for that. And I can pay the lamp as well. Let's pay off the lamp. So now all we need is, I assume this is a bookcase. So a bookcase. And have we got one of these units? Yeah, and one shelving unit thing. And that's it. So one cabinet. So yeah, in six days we need to come back. And I'm going to consider that a win. Once we've got all this stuff done, I'm going to consider that a win. Uh, and possibly pay off some of that debt as well. Uh, cash, okay, good. And we got paid monies. Uh, let's see if we can pay off of that. 19 grand for the, for the grandfather clock. Okay, um, let's pay the bill for that, right? And debt, yeah, what do you want to do? So now, are there, are there any of those things in here? No. So neither the bookcase or the other thing are in there. Let's pay off a grand of, in fact, do you know what? Just pay, I've been fired again. <laughs> Stop being fired. I got fired and then I got robbed by aliens just on my wallet. Unbelievable. Um, okay. Uh, a neurosurgeon again. Five, 570,000. Yes. Go and be a neurosurgeon. 21,950 in every two weeks. <laughs> oh, Dr. Penge, don't get fired from this job, you silly man. Your primary credit card was 10 grand in debt. No. It was all looking so good. Okay, well, let's make a dent into that. One, two, three, four grand of that 10 grand debt there. Um, I need to pay that. I can't afford to pay that. Can you wait a few days? Can you wait just a little a little bit of time? And then we can go, ta-da! Right, so I've been paid. I've got 22,000. Let's, let's pay off the grandfather clock. Uh, yeah, get rid of that. That's nice. We'll pay the bill for that. Oh, yeah, we've fallen down the stairs. Right, okay. Uh, pay off the rest of that debt with my money. And now just sit and be poor. I'm not the poorest neurosurgeon in the world. None of those cabinets. We don't need any of those. Okay, now it's just a case of waiting for the right cabinet and that bookcase to come up. That is all we need. I'm sure if we remain in this job for at least a little while. There we go. Very nice. Pay off the Life's a Beach picture thing. And then pay off as much debt as we can after a long fight. We've been fired! No! <laughs> Stop being fired! And if I take over Wild Rabbit, you move incorrectly and get bitten. Oh, tetanus shot. Right, what job can we have now? An engineer. 78 grand. That'll do. That'll do. That'll give us some money. Although it's not the money that I would like, but okay, fine. Right, just burn through that. Like that. Can we buy any of the things? No. Okay, right. So, in fact, do you know what? One, two, three, four, five. Let's bring it down. Let's get it under five digits. So, it's a four-digit debt. Okay. Now, we just need to wait. We need to wait for the months to roll by. And let's see if we can get ourselves our items that we need. Okay. The month has ended. Are any of these items useful? No. No, they're not. We don't need any of those. We need the bookcase and we need whatever unit number that is. I've been fired. <laughs> I wasn't even the job for a month. Ah, okay. Um, uh, a, a cruise line musician. Yeah, absolutely. Right, we'll bring the debt down by half. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, am I going to use the money for anything? No. Do you know what? Uh, 500 cash after becoming a finalist in a competition for the game Time Out, you end up losing to a Brainiac. 
you are awarded the consolation prize. I will take 500 cash and will pay off my debt, which leaves me with 14 money, but no debt. Hooray! Okay, splendid. Uh, okay, yeah, let's sit and wait now. Let's try and deal with the debt as it comes in. We do want to keep some cash for when the big tax bill comes in, whenever it is in April. So we want to keep some of it around. But really, yeah, we're just waiting for these. We're waiting for cabinet and bookcase. Right, I've been fired again. Oh my goodness me, how many times do I get fired? Right, bookcase. Seven and a half grand. We're going to have to take it on finance. <laughs> We're going to have to get the bookcase on finance. But there we go. I've been mistaken for a beggar. I need a job. Um, postal worker. 32 grand. Yeah, take that. Take that job. I've had the most varied job. <laughs> the jobs in the world. But now that's it. We're down to one last item. One tiny item to go above the microwave. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, pay that bill. Because they'll get cross with me otherwise. And um, yeah, back back to waiting. End of October, start of November, we will check our items. We'll see if we can get ourselves the final cabinet piece. Oh, hang on, seven and a half grand in debt because yet another family member has died. I don't know what they're turning to me for the funeral costs. How many family members have I got? Okay, the cabinet is not available, unfortunately. The cabinet just is not there. I can't get the cabinet. So we have to wait another month. However, I am still employed, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, let's try and bring our debt down. There we go. So we'll drag our debt back down by spending all of our money. And uh, we get paid in eight days. Uh, oh, I've got one dollar. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice. I'll go buy myself a coffee or something. But uh, a really cheap, like, rubbishy cup of coffee from some terrible dive. But that'll do. Uh, so yeah, we've got one dollar to our name. We're $3,259 down in debt. But we are going to get paid as a postal worker. Is there a better job out there? A... a beekeeper or a chemist all oh, right okay switch to a chemist that pays a bit more money which is very very welcome we'll um we'll pay off every single bit against the debt there another 60 debt because of <laughs> some germs and uh, yeah we're just gonna keep waiting back we go to waiting for the right cabinet to appear oh no i forgot to pay the bill for the bookcase so they might take it away let's see what happens do they come and take it away does the bailiff come in and steal it see the bookshelf is late okay yeah that's fine i'll pay it uh, now, there you go. I've paid it. Thank you. I've got some more debt, of course. Right, I've been fired and my laptop's been uh, stolen again. However, it is going to roll round to 2022. Right, pay off the debt. Check the items. No, still no. I mean, it's going to come to a point where I'm just going to have to say, right, do you know what? We're waiting for that cabinet. That's the only thing we haven't got. Um, let's pay the bill for the bookcase. Oh, brilliant. My copyright lawsuit was scratch DJK music records ended. You ended up settling in a loss. 29,000 in debt. And I've been fired. So um, let's go and be an engineer. Let's go and take on the role of an engineer. Um, right, still, oh no, that's not refreshed yet. I spilled my coffee all over my laptop. Well, of course I did. Just pile some more debt in, why don't you? It's going to come around to April soon. I'm going to have to pay my taxes. Let's try and bring that down the tiniest bit. Leave myself with a little bit of spending money because I might in February. Come on, cabinet. Yes, glass cabinet. It's my, oh, hang on. I'll, I'll finance it. I'll finance it. Absolutely. I finance that. So now, how do I do this? So I need to pay for those two. So I can pay the glass cabinet right now. I can pay that off now. Glass cabinet done. That's absolutely fine. Now, uh, 410 in debt. Silly pen. So I've got all the things. I've got all the things. Now I'm just a bit in debt by, by 27,320. Although that would, that was a bit harsh being slapped with a 20, whatever it was, thousand debt from some sort of thing. And I've been fired again. What job can I have now? Uh, in home sales. Okay, I'll have that. Uh, oh, 10 grand cash. I ratted out the location of an infamous mafia boss. Okay, right, a bit brave, but right you are. Let's pay off the bookshelf. So the bookshelf is now mine. I own all the items. Now, I think what I'd like to do is just get the debt cleared, and then I'll consider that a victory. I've bought all the items, and I will have no debt. So I'll consider that a win, I think. Uh, but yeah, that doesn't help the fact that I keep getting scammed, because clearly a digital Dr. Penge is a bit of an idiot. But um, yeah, I think that'll be that'll count as a win. We'll just work our way through the debt, and then get that clear, and then hooray, we've won, we've won at real life.
Okay, I've been fired again. What other job can I have? Uh, an oil rig engineer. That'll do. <laughs> I mean, surely I'm never in my house as an oil rig engineer. But there we go. Right, let's pay seven grand of that off. Lovely. Right, I'm changing job. I'm going back to being a sculptor. Presumably for a different person that paid me for the last sculpting job. But there we go. So that should give me a nice big blob of money. If I actually last at the end of the month as a sculptor and don't manage to get myself fired, I should get... $11,106. That will be enough to pay off my current amount of debt. By the way, I have no doubt that the game is going to try and throw some... There we go. Look, my family pet that I don't have. Taxi... Oh, no. <laughs> taxis. Are... Oh, it's 40 grand down because taxis and rolled round. Okay, fine. So this sculptor job, I could do with keeping that for, say, three or four... Three or four months would be really useful. If I could keep that job for that long and pay this off... That would be splendid. Oh, but I did get 500 cash we could put straight on the debt. Thank you very much. Oh, I've ratted out the location of that Mafia boss again. He's in a police cell. Oh, thank you very much. Right, 21 grand. That pays off about half of my debt. That's lovely. Also, obviously, the lower that debt amount is, the less I'm getting charged in interest every month. So that's very good. Okay, time is ticking down until the next sculptor payday. 11,106 monies will be mine. That was the interest going on to the uh, to the debt. We should get paid. Uh, oh, and I've, I've been fired just before. However, 10,300 is plenty. Yes! I won at life. Adult equals me. <laughs> That's brilliant. I've achieved glory. So, uh, what did we get? Difficulty medium. Three years, nine months, 23 days. I earned $472,335 in three years, nine months. I wish that was real. Um, I acquired 218000 worth of debt. I got fired from 17 jobs <laughs> in three years, nine months. Um, I was, yeah, short of hell job was unemployed. Longest hell was a dispatcher. Well, that was the first one I had, wasn't it? I walked 0.26 miles around my room. I acquired no puppies. I saved no babies. I kept no wallets. I didn't get the choice for babies or wallets, did I? Um, life's a beach is my most popular item. Yeah, I didn't buy more than one item, actually. I didn't buy more than one. Um, cash spent, I spent two grand on lottery tickets. I won nothing. I bought 10 stocks and I uh, net gained $430 off them. Not very much. I'm going to keep playing just very briefly. What happens then if you buy... Um, uh, oh, there's a wallet. Yeah, return it. I'll return it. What if you buy another side table? Like, where? what happens to that? Where does it go? Like, does it just fall down from the sky like it did in the intro screen or not? And, oh, there it is. Is that it just there? I think that's it just there. Okay. What if we buy ourselves another cabinet number one? Uh, yeah, <laughs> they just sort of fall down from the sky. Okay. <laughs> That's very silly. Yeah, okay, so you can fill your house with pointless stuff. Okay, right. I get it. Do you know what? We won. We won at life. Go us. And there we go. That was life and debt of real life simulator. And we did all right. We, I, I actually achieved it. I actually managed the debt. And I, do you know what it was? It was the education. It was getting all those different education things in fairly early on, whilst managing the debt to a reasonable level, but also giving ourselves enough money to then spend on those educational things, which meant that we could get the better jobs, even if we didn't hold them for very long. So that gave us the bigger sort of uh, lump sums of money every month or two weeks, whatever it was, which meant that we could sort of manage things and buy stuff. But there you go. That was fun. That's a fun little game. That's very enjoyable. I, I'm intrigued with the daily challenges. I might have another look at that at some other point with the um, with the daily challenges just to see what they are but that will do for now if you did enjoy this please do leave a like and you know the drill by now if you're not already subscribed then please do so to keep up to date with all the other bumps that we get up to but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time they've ripped my arms off ripped my legs off I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.